Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Sarah, otherwise known as Sarah Says Hi here on YouTube. Today I am unboxing my very first Stitch Fix. Come back and see what I got. And welcome back. It's been a long day already. I have already recorded two videos now, and now we're going for number three with the Stitch Fix. Um, yeah, because that's how I record my videos. I try to bust them out as many as I can in one day. Whew, okay. So here we have it, Stitch Fix Box. Um, I have never ordered a um, Stitch Fix before. This is my very first time, very first unboxing. I have done other videos where um, clothing subscriptions, um, if you click the link here, that'll take you to my very first um, Ellie unboxing. I think I have like three or four Ellie unboxings um, and that's like fit apparel. This is my very first time just like having a stylist send me clothes. <laughs> I'm, I'm very nervous guys, very nervous because I'm sure like most of you, you're picky. You're, I'm picky, you're probably picky about the things you wear. I absolutely hate shopping and um, probably the last six months I've been shopping more online. Um, I do a lot of shopping with Venus and New York and company. And um, those are kind of the stores I shop at other than Marshall's when before coronavirus hit and we could actually go shopping. Since we're still in the pandemic, the stores are closed. It's harder to get out there and shop for new fashion. So I figured why not try Stitch Fix? So what Stitch Fix is, is you fill out a questionnaire, you talk about the type of clothing that you want. So um, if you have like a lot of formal events, if you need a lot of work attire, if you want casual, whatever, you, you go through this, this, the survey and then you choose what you want and you also can specify in the comments at the end to your stylist like what you're looking for. I specified that I just wanted tops. I didn't really care about pants, although you know, pants are probably coming in this, dresses may come as well. But I specified I didn't need formal clothing, I didn't need business attire. Um, I was looking more casual clothing. Then you pick out what kind of prints and stuff you want or what you don't want. Um, I said no fashion accessories. I don't want any jewelry, I don't want any scarves. Um, I have very sensitive skin and I'm allergic to nickel, so I didn't want to take a chance with any cosmetic jewelry. And anyhow, down below in the description box, there is a referral code. Unfortunately, you don't get any kind of discount. The cost is $20 when you first sign up for Stitch Fix. So how it works is every box that you get, the stylist fee is $20. So it was $20 for that stylist to put together to handpick your items. If you actually purchase an item, they give you $20 credit towards the purchase. Um, I don't know how much these items cost. It'll be very interesting to find that out and we'll find out in just a minute how much the items are. You keep what you want, you pay for what you want, and then you ship the rest back and then you, you don't get charged for that and it's free to ship it back to them. I think for three months, I'm gonna try a monthly subscription. Let's rip this baby open. I'm so nervous, really nervous guys. Okay, so right away when you open it, it's got a cute little patterned, patterned box and all kinds of goodies. Not sure what this is. Um, and this is the, the postal bag to return any items. It's already pre-labeled for you. So already I like this cool box. I think it's cute. Um, and I like that all the clothes are just like in here, like they're, they're not in plastic bags, so they're not gonna have like that plastic baggy smell. Okay, so let's tear off the sticker. I'm really excited now. Oh my goodness. Before we get into the clothes, let's see what this is. Take a peek. Tucked inside, pieces from your stylist, outfit inspiration and personalized style advice. Like I said, if you click on that link, you don't get a discount. You will give me credit though, if you do purchase through my link. So I appreciate it if you guys would help me out so I could earn more credit as I'm losing weight, I need more clothes. Oh, I see here. So then what they do is they give you this little card and it has all the pieces of clothing and they show you how to mix and match and make outfits from it. Information, ooh, 
and the prices. So if I keep everything in the box, which is one, two, three, four, five items, five items, it's going to be $196. Um, they do tell you, they break it down to cost per item. So we'll get to that part when I show you guys what they are. Okay, so let's start with the first one. Um, they sent me a dress, oh my gosh, I never wear dresses. Okay, so this dress is an extra large. Um, you do put your sizes in, so um, I'm not sure, I must have put a dress size, like that I was a size 12 or 14. I'm not sure what I am right now, I think I'm a 12. Um, and then I put my tops as a size large, and then, um, or I think they don't really go by large, I think it goes by sizes. So I think I may have put my top as like a size 14, and then my bottoms as a size 12. But anyhow, so we have this dress, um, and I will try them on for you guys in a little bit, but just to, to show you guys a little print here, um, and it's gathered at the waist. And it's so funny because I did tell my stylist in the instructions, further instructions, I did tell her she could watch my YouTube videos to kind of get an idea about the tops that I wear. Um, and I also said, please do not, please do not send me any shirts that make me look pregnant. You know, like the kind that swing out and stuff. So we'll see, we'll see how well she did. Um, so anyways, so we have a dress and the dress is, um, the brand is French Gray, never heard of it. Um, so the dress is going to be $48. It's not bad, it's kind of kind of what you would expect. So there's a dress. Um, the next is, and it's funny because they're all different designers. It's not just like one designer. Oh, okay. Um, I'm, I'm kind of nervous about this one. It's a little see-through and I did specify very specifically that I did not want stripes, right? On the back of the shirt has stripes. Um, and it's because when you are heavy, you don't want to wear, you don't want to wear horizontal stripes because that makes you look thicker. So she didn't quite listen to me on that because I did specify no stripes. Um, I guess she figured it was okay because there's a lot of polka dots in the front and um, the stripes are just in the back, but we'll see. So this top is a size large. Looks like it'll fit me, so we'll try it on a bit. Um, and let's see what that top is. I think it's just, yeah, Daniel Rain. Ooh, it's $68, that top. I'm not sure if that shirt is worth $68. We'll see when I try it on. This one is also a Daniel Rain. Um, And it's, it's a V-neck. I did specify that I only like scoop necks and V-necks, no turtlenecks. Um, and it's a three quarter sleeve. Sorry, I'm just kind of like covering up my face. You can't even see it, but um, we'll try that on. Sorry, um, the white one, the polka dot one, I, I was confused because there's two Daniel Rains on here. So the white one is actually $54. And this one that I just showed, the navy blue one, um, floral print is 60. Um, we got another top. Oh, it's a sweater. It's July. I mean, I get, I get the idea of wearing a sweater. Um, this would be great when we start hitting the fall months because I do love little cardigans, but so she sent me a little cardigan, but I'm not going to wear this in July. Um, I'm not sure if I really like it. I may keep it for winter. Um, or I might send it back. And it just has like little embellished buttons here on the side. Um, it's very thin. It, the brand on this is Mix by 41 Hawthorne. Um, so it's very thin, cheery. Um, let's see how much this is. Mm, so this is, oh yeah, it's mixed by 41 Hawthorne. This is $40. And last but not least, we have a, oh God, is it high waist? High rise skinny jean. Okay, the stylist is not listening to me. Um, I specifically put that I like mid rise and low rise. I do not like high waisted jeans at all. So kind of disappointed that she's not listening to what I specified as far as my, um, the survey, because I really put that. So these are going back already, I know, because I'm, I'm, I won't wear them. Um, I'll try them on just to try them on. They're size 12. The brand is Pistola. Um, let's see if they're a stretch. Yes, they're a stretch. St 
stretch high rise skinny jean and um, they kind of looked like a little weather just right here there's like a little thing on the pocket there and then like a little weathered thing up here on this pocket um, I don't know if it's high rise I'm thinking that means the waist maybe it means the ankle height I, it doesn't specify because I don't know anyhow we're going to try these on now went ahead and put my hair up in a ponytail okay so this is the top and I actually like it on me um, right now I'm breaking out with really bad eczema guys like it's it's horrible I'm actually trying a product that's from Mexico that one of my co-workers gave me <laughs> don't tell anyone okay so I do like the top I think this is one that was $54. Yeah, this one is $54. I, I do like the cut. I like the fit. It's, um, I thought I was gonna be really nervous with like my belly, but honestly, like, I think she did a good job. Like, I think it's cute. Um, definitely not wearing a navy blue bra with it, but um, I think I'm gonna keep the top, guys. I, I'm not a polka dot person. I don't have any polka dots but I kind of like it. It's very cute, even with the stripes. Like, remember I was like anti-stripes? Um, yeah, it's it's okay. I, I, would, I would wear it. By the way, my stylist's name is Brittany. Brittany, good choice on this one. I like it. I'm gonna keep it $54. I have the skinny jeans on. And um, I misjudged her. I'm sorry, Brittany. I didn't understand the, the description when it said high rise. The waist is, it's right. It's a, it's what I considered like a um, mid rise. And that's the style that I like. Um, I mean, I'm not going to keep the pants because I already have a pair of black skinny jeans that I don't hardly wear as it is now. Um, Maybe I'll try them on right now to see how my old skinny jeans fit. And if they're feeling too baggy, then I'll keep these. Otherwise, if the other ones are still fitting fine, then there's no sense in me having another pair of black skinny jeans. There, so you can see the skinny jeans. And really, it's not, I mean, I'm showing my belly a million times. You've already seen it all on YouTube. But um, it is a mid-rise. And, and they're stretchy, they're roomy. Um, you could squat in them, I guess, if you needed to. Okay, so now I tried them on with my own black skinny jeans and see it's kind of like the same mid-rise. Um, so yeah, I, I won't be uh, keeping those skinny jeans. Okay, and I may as well try it on with the cardigan. Um, it's cute. It's very thin. It's very thin, but it's cute. Um, again, these are my own black skinny jeans that I'm wearing with it. Um, yeah, it's, it's okay. Um, a lot of these products are made in China is what it says. Um, but this does feel really soft. And of course, when you want a cardigan, that's what you want. So um, I might keep it. Uh, it's, it's weird to think about using a cardigan here in July. In Fresno, we actually don't hit cooler weather until almost like November. So this would be like sitting in my closet for several months, but um, I may keep it. We'll see at the end of the video. You guys will have to watch. Ta-da! It's, it's so strange to me that like the sizing is actually pretty good um, because I don't know what size I am right now. And so I was just guesstimating what size I think I should be. So I kind of went like a size smaller than what I think that I'm wearing because I know I'm losing weight. Um, so I'm actually surprised that these are fitted and you know, they fit nice. Anyways, so this is the also a Daniel Rain top. It's a three quarter sleeve. Um, I guess it's okay. Um, let's see what you guys think. Let me angle the camera down. Uh, 
Um, it does have, so if you can see right here, it's like shorter in the front and a little bit longer, like covers your booty in the back. Um, I think this is a size large. Yeah, it says it's a size large. Let me try it on with the cardigan. I do like that, that they're trying to get like a color scheme going on so that all your items can mix and match together. I think that's great. It's um, clever. Okay, so cardigan. Get a little sass. I don't, I don't love it. Um, I like it. I don't love it. I have to ask myself, do I see myself like wearing these, actually wearing these? I could picture myself wearing the polka dot one. Not sure about this one. And I don't know why, because it's, I like the fit of it. I, I even like the print. Um, I don't know. It's a, eh, don't know. Stay tuned for the end of the video to find out if I choose it. Okay, so now I have the dress on. Um, I will say right off the bat, I don't like the dress. Um, I don't really wear a lot of dresses, and I it's, it has more to do with my belly, where the dresses hit me on the belly. I do kind of like like that A-line uh, higher waist, where it's more fitted up here, but then it can make me look pregnant, so then I have to worry about that. Um, and then like where this hits, like where this hits, I don't know. I don't know if I like it. So like the elastic is like, where does it go? Does it go down here? Does it go up high? Um, I don't think I like where it hits me on my stomach. So this is the dress. Yeah, I think I'm definitely not gonna keep the dress. Um, let me change all these clothes and I will tell you guys what pieces I'm gonna keep. So I have made my decision on the outfits that I, or the pieces rather, that I'm going to keep from the box. I took photo stills of them and I will go ahead and show them for you guys right here just so you can get a good look at the outfits. Um, I felt like this was best for me to see what the outfits or the pieces look like on me so I could make an informative decision. These are the pieces I chose to keep. this shirt and the cardigan. That means I'm returning the dress, the skinny jeans and the uh, long or the three quarter sleeve shirt. Ultimately it came down to price um, and how much I really liked the pieces. And so really those two pieces I felt like were worth the value. Um, I feel like the cardigan price is like spot on. Um, I did a quick Google search and I do a lot of shopping through Venus and even Venus had their cardigans like 40 plus. Anywhere else it's like $35. So I felt like $40 was okay to spend on the cardigan. The shirt was a little bit expensive, I'll admit. Um, $54 for the quality of the shirt. It's, it's not the greatest quality. It has kind of a textury, like a rough textury feeling to it. So it's not like super thin. Like I know a lot of the styles now, it's like you go, like if you go and buy a shirt, a t-shirt or whatever from Target, the quality is like going downhill really bad. And it seems like everyone's kind of following that same line. So I feel like it's not quite that bad. It's not like that thin. It's okay quality, I guess. I just don't know if it was really worth the $54. I really like the style and the fit of it, so I went ahead and gambled and yeah, I spent the $54. My total that I spent for these items was $81.51. That was with the styling fee subtracted. So it would have been more, it would have been $20 more, but with your styling fee, they credit you. So that was basically just the taxes. Once you make the decision to purchase your items, then you can go to the website or they have an app. It's easier through the app and you check out through the app. So they have like a quick little questionnaire. So they show the product and then there's a option to return it or an option to keep it. And then there's like a quick little questionnaire. It's like five questions like, how did it fit? Um, is it your style? Um, 
Did you think the quality was good? Uh, value so you answer those and then there's like a little box so you could even suggest further anyways you do that for all the pieces and then it checks you out so here's all the fees um, so they're saying that the subtotal before the credit was $94 um, there's a sales tax of $7.50 the styling fee was deducted which was $20 and then there's no shipping fee so that's great you don't get charged for shipping and to be honest um, I, I really had a hard time with this shirt. I struggled with this one because I do feel like the quality was pretty good. For this kind of material, the quality, um, I have spent like 60 to $70 at Macy's for a shirt like this. So I would say that this quality of this shirt is comparable to a shirt that you might find, you know, at Macy's. I quickly went and looked on New York and Company and I was able to buy like two um, short sleeve tops for like $56. So two shirts for cheaper than the price of that one shirt. And actually I did set myself a budget for this stitch fix. I had no idea how much the pieces were going to be. When I did the questionnaire, it sounded like, um, cause they have a price range of quality of articles of clothing that you purchase. And I picked the very minimum, the, the very cheapest option, which was 50 to a hundred dollars a piece. Um, they don't, they don't have any cheaper options than that. I, I don't know if that means I'll get a shirt maybe in the next box that could be worth $35. I don't know. But that was the range was 50 to $100 per piece. Right now, I just couldn't justify spending $68 on that one top that I liked, but I wasn't in love with. Um, so I had set a budget of $143 for my shopping this month for clothes shopping. I spent 81 there at Stitch Fix, and then the two tops that I ended up ordering from New York and Company was 56, so it was just a little bit under my 143 mark. That was the decision, it came down to price, um, but I do look forward to my next one. Again, down below in the description box is a referral link. So if you actually purchased a Stitch Fix box, you don't get any kind of discount, but I get a $25 credit towards one of my boxes. And that's just a great way that you guys can help support my channel, um, you, you know, by helping to put clothes on my back. <laughs> Especially as I'm losing weight, I, I need clothes. So um, that would be a great way for you guys to help me out if you decide to try it out. Um, I'm gonna try it out a couple of months because I just wanna see. I'm excited to see like what kind of clothing they'll send me. Um, and this was fun. Like I enjoyed it and I hope you guys enjoyed watching me try on all the clothes and, um, you know, my first unboxing for Stitch Fix. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not yet subscribed, go ahead and subscribe down below and don't forget to hit that little bell icon and that will notify you every time that I've uploaded a new video. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next one.